Pluto is a distant and bewildering planet that was once a person from our nearby planetary systems family. However, progressing disturbing announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a staggering revelation. They suggest that this freezing world is on a potential brief trajectory with Neptune. However, how could this happen, and what might be the results of such an enormous event? Are we seeing a captivating, enormous characteristic, or is there something different to this oncoming immense accident? Go along with us as we research the potential results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a previous planet that was minimized to a dwarf planet, partly because of its exceptional orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the cosmic community. As demonstrated by late forecasts by leading specialists, Pluto's orbit is unsafely close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous effect between these two planets that could represent a tremendous risk to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planet group. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its extraordinarily bended shape, deviating significantly from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its inclination, determined at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and irregularity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. Possibly one of the most captivating parts of Pluto's orbit is its convergence with Neptune's orbit. For nearly 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the common question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to sort out its strange orbit. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie fairly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and irregular shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The complexity of Pluto's orbit amidst these intricacies is proof of the complexities of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about sorting out how three objects in space like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms alpha libration and scope libration, along with the VZK swaying, are important to this enigma. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. With respect to Pluto and Neptune, this term essentially means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in keeping their orbits from impacting. Extension libration, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's positioned well above their orbital plane, offering an additional layer of protection from potential impacts. Another significant factor in this situation is the VZK swaying, named after three researchers, Bon Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how things move in space. It's about how three celestial objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming turbulent, this swaying helps keep it moving smoothly, from now onward, indefinitely. The VZK swaying shows that, even though things in space may appear wild and unpredictable, some patterns and rules keep everything together. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or lose its course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these orbits change based on how these celestial objects pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, 
and distant stars and galaxies. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stabilizing factors, Pluto's orbit is still relatively chaotic, with minor variations in starting conditions leading to massive differences over millions of years. However, these unusual properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over exceptionally long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos in check. Recent computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only one contributing. Jupiter's gravity also plays a major role in defending Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes significantly as well. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable orbit for a long time, even billions of years. It seems that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These phenomena are critical when it comes to the universe, as they maintain the order and consistency of celestial bodies' movements. Without these forces, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater disorder and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto might collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, causing a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamics of our solar system. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of stability through the intricate exchange of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this oddity. The concept of orbital chaos which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is strikingly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term trajectory in the vastness of our solar system. Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study leading to significant revelations about its structure and behavior. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and other compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided striking data about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by vast fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most remarkable features is the Sputnik Planitia, a colossal heart-shaped plane primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This area showcases a diverse array of landforms, including large ice shelves and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active, despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another captivating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, primarily made up of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin but shows intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto approaches the Sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The interaction between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that both bodies are in a mutual orbit around a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply revolving around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the complex gravitational dynamics in the region affecting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small icy bodies, is home to various other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a reservoir of ancient material from the early solar system, 
giving scientists a glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital characteristics may provide insights into the development patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a significant role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital dynamics is the potential impact on our understanding of the solar system's evolution. Gravitational interactions from neighboring giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper belt. Such interactions can lead to shifts in orbits, possibly resulting in collisions or ejections from the solar system. As scientists continue to explore the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the universe. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about classification in astronomy. The decision to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was controversial, sparking discussions about what it means to be a planet. In conclusion, Pluto's orbital relationship with Neptune and its position in the solar system serve as powerful reminders of the complexity of our universe. The subtle and intricate forces that keep Pluto and other celestial bodies in their orbits are indicative of a far-reaching system of balance and interaction. As astronomers continue to study this fascinating region, new discoveries will help to deepen our understanding of the solar system's formation, evolution, and the potential for similar dynamics in other planetary systems across the galaxy. Understanding Pluto's place in the broader context of the solar system also brings attention to the various forces that have shaped its current state. The journey of how Pluto transitioned from being considered the ninth planet to its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, sheds light on the changing dynamics of planetary classification. This decision sparked heated debates within the astronomical community and among the public. It reflects an evolving understanding of what defines a planet, with factors like size, orbital behavior, and the gravitational influence of other bodies now playing a crucial role in categorizing celestial objects. Despite its reclassification, Pluto remains a source of fascination. For scientists, it represents an intriguing blend of the known and the unknown. The detailed images and data collected by NASA's New Horizons mission in 2015 revealed many fascinating features about Pluto, including vast plains, icy mountains, and signs of geological activity. These findings suggest that Pluto is not a static, lifeless world, but one that is still undergoing dynamic processes beneath its icy surface. This discovery has led to discussions about the potential for subsurface oceans on Pluto and the possibility of life in its distant, cold reaches, sparking imagination about the many unknowns that remain in our solar system. The presence of multiple moons around Pluto particularly Charon, further complicates the gravitational dynamics of this distant dwarf planet. The fact that Pluto and Charon are in a mutual orbit around a shared center of mass, barycenter, rather than Pluto simply revolving around Charon is an important aspect of their relationship. This unique orbital configuration adds another layer of complexity to the system and offers a fascinating case study for understanding the interplay of gravitational forces in binary systems. In addition to the influence of the large gas giants like Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter, Pluto's orbit also interacts with the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies located beyond Neptune. The Kuiper Belt is populated with numerous other dwarf planets, comets, and other small icy bodies that were left over from the formation of the solar system. Some researchers believe that interactions between Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, may have played a role in shaping its unusual orbit, further raising questions about the gravitational forces at play in this distant region. As scientists continue to investigate the mysteries of the Kuiper Belt, new discoveries about Pluto's orbit and its interaction with neighboring bodies will provide valuable insights into the early solar system's evolution. The study of Pluto and the surrounding Kuiper Belt could help answer important questions about the origins of the solar system, including the processes that led to the formation of the planets and the roles that smaller bodies like Pluto and other KBOs played in the development of our cosmic neighborhood. Furthermore, the knowledge we gain from Pluto's orbit and its interactions with other planets and objects in the solar system may have broader implications for exoplanetary systems. By understanding the gravitational mechanics that govern the behavior of objects in our own solar system, 
We can apply these principles to distant star systems, allowing astronomers to make more accurate predictions about the dynamics of planets and moons around other stars. This could lead to exciting new discoveries about the formation and behavior of planets beyond our solar system. In the coming decades, further exploration of Pluto and its surroundings, possibly through additional space missions or advancements in ground-based telescopes, will likely reveal even more secrets about this enigmatic world. The study of Pluto, its orbit, its moons, and its relationship with Neptune will continue to play a key role in advancing our understanding of the solar system, the formation of planetary systems, and the ongoing processes that shape the universe.